Hello, today is April 8th, 2022. Let's update the Ukraine war. Uh, let's first uh, go to update the situation in Mariupol. Uh, here is just the briefing outline here. Uh, uh, it looks like uh, the Ukraine is still holding on three block. Uh, and uh, we can get we get this information from several resources. We will go one by one. First, uh, let's go to see the uh, the twenty four hour like a uh, fair situation. So we see mostly near the seaport area. Uh, there is a uh, two position here. They are rocked uh, uh, launcher. Uh, and also artillery, uh, artillery fell towards the uh, like uh, a row steel. Uh, so we can also see the actually the heat map coming out. Uh, the, this coming out uh, within last uh, like uh, 24 hour. I think it's about. Uh, the morning 9 a.m. time at the Ukraine time. Uh, it's morning and there is cloudy, uh, so we cannot get a lot of information. But uh, at least we can see on the street uh, which are close to the steel factory, there is still a fair going on. Like uh, there are two of them three, four, four of them. Uh, and uh, these are the four, let's see, on, on near the other uh, like a factory, the second steel factory, uh, we can see there are also some fair to the west uh, edge of the factory. This is a factory here. Uh, and there is seem to be one small dot or fair on the corner uh, like uh, of that factory. Basically, let's go to the map to see it more clearly. Uh, the fair we saw, the two fair, one is around here, another one is here. So, from that affair, we can assume there are still some like a Ukraine soldier within the second factory. And we also have very confirmed information that the majority of the Ukraine soldiers and Azov are still inside the Aru steel factory. Um, let's see the other video. So this is a video which uh, RT journalist uh, fly a drone uh, to a top above the arrow steel. It actually recorded the right when it is has a bombardment going on. Let's see. So this one shows the, the area of the video uh, shows is the area of the video is here. Let's see the, the, this big house around this area, the artillery sort. So what we can see it more closely. So the artillery fair at this house, this close between the house and this street here, and also around here. So from the artillery firing position, this should be, should be the defense line for the Ukraine soldier based on the arrow steel. So they, they, on the other hand, they. Russian soldiers should be like uh, at least one to two hundred meters away from them. So 
Russian soldiers should be soldiers should be around here. They are fi they are terrorists fire at this person. This should not be very close because the the artillery fell uh, very far away. Their accuracy is close to 50 meters. So uh, the 50 meter, 100 meter, there should be some distance between Russian soldier and the artillery firing position. Uh, the drone was stay the drone, the position of drone is around this area. So we assume some, like uh, the Russian troop is also around this area. But we saw some fire around here. So maybe there are some area around here is still under Ukraine control. So we are not very sure. Uh, but it seems to be front line is around here. So this see the prediction of this uh, drone is actually very close to the eyes of the steel factory. The steel factory eyes is around here, so it's about a hundred meter away. Uh, we estimate. Uh, there is this video. This journalist uh, is also pro-Russian. Uh, they say they currently the Ukraine soldiers uh, are in three different groups. Uh, most of them in Arustio. Uh, they are blocked and surrounded in three areas. I assume this three area what they talk about is three area is this three area. One is around here, another one is here. This is the biggest one, and uh, the um, the first video there is a Russian commander saying majority of them are in here. Uh, that's why they use they are pretty happy. They are separated from the civilian, and uh, they are right now using artillery to attack the Ukraine soldier inside the. These are the artillery position. They are shooting to the in into the uh, Arustio and the position we just saw, like uh, in earlier video. So that's the. Uh, there is also a church and commander meeting. Uh, within the meeting, one of the commanders they were talking to. Kadilov, the president of Chechen Republic. Um, after the talk, this guy was saying, I hope now we almost 90-80% of the territory that is civilian. Remember, this is 98 is semi civilian area. It's not meant to include in the two factory. And uh, even for the civilian area, I think uh, there is some as as reason. Remember, like uh, ten days ago, someone was like a catalog when Kadilov was visiting uh, Mariupol. One of the soldiers say, "Oh, they occupy ninety percent." So that is a lie, right? So we all cheated by them. Uh, uh, we were we were thought that they only place was here, not a reference, but now it seemed to be that uh, there are three places still occupied by the Ukraine soldier. Uh, seem to be the vast majority of them are in Arustio. There are some of these places in the second steel factory and they surrender, like uh, some of them surrender. And uh, there is a big group of soldiers also on the West side, they used to be some of they used to also control the airport. Now, the Russian soldier are pushing from the west and pushing the soldier from the airport into the seaport area. This is also why we see on the seaport area there was not so fighting going on. So the Ukraine soldier who occupied the airport was pushed into this block. Actually, this block is 
this airport uh, to this uh, civilian area are very close, like uh, only two or three meter, uh, 300 meters. So they move into this uh, residential area and then the Russian uh, push them to the uh, like a seaport area. Uh, this is the third group and uh, the other two groups are within the factory. That's why they call 98 uh, civilian area are occupied by them, but they didn't include in the big, uh, too big factory. Each of them are almost nine square kilometer. It's a very big uh, steel factory. So uh, from this, we have a basic uh, picture about uh, the Ukraine, uh, like a uh, Mariupol area. Let's go to some bigger picture and uh, talk about uh, the other area. In the last two days, uh, Russian side announced no major change of territory. That means uh, Russian typically do not announce when they lost uh, territory. Uh, that only means Russian did not gain territory in the last 24 hours. So from that, we can also tell that uh, Chechen soldier is relatively uh, like uh, very good uh, uh, in terms of competitiveness, uh, but the other part of Russian, they are not a very uh, working, not working really hard. And the Russian also announced there are about 1,000 uh, uh, Wagner Group uh, uh, soldier from the Syria. They are working around the Donetsk, Donetsk uh, city area, so it's around here. This is uh, the area they are, uh, it is likely that um, uh, the active attacking area here is uh, has some like a uh, Syria uh, soldier around here. In the meantime, like a Russian bomb, the uh, Kormatosk uh, uh, railway station uh, and uh, there was some casualty uh, there. Uh, they also bombed another uh, train station uh, in the in Bavinkov, this area. This, this uh, train station also been bombed. Like uh, Kromotowski, this is a major military uh, point. So, also from the Russian side, they are consolidated on the uh, on, on the room area. This is uh, also a hub, basically. So that, but the Russian has no gain whatsoever. Like uh, there is uh, no Russian. Uh, progress in any other area beside uh, Mariupol. Uh, we expect uh, the Russian is waiting for the Chechen soldier to finish uh, Mariupol before they will start attacking heavily around this area. On the other side, we expect uh, like uh, Ukraine to continue a safe soldier and uh, ammunition from the west uh, to the east uh, frontier. And uh, looks like uh, Russia is uh, bombed the train and the railway to prevent uh, the, the ammunition ship from the railway. Uh, because railway are usually mixed uh, between civilian uh, and uh, before right now, like uh, Russian has been keep all the railway running smoothly. Um, they now they are probably discover that uh, Ukraine is using railway to transport uh, the ammunition, so they are starting bomb the railway. Uh, that's a basic uh, picture for the last uh, forty-eight hour. Basically, not much progress on either side. Um, so, okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, like. Please subscribe. If you like it, please hit the like button. Thanks. Bye now.